Many people think that young people nowadays don't get enough exercise, but the survey shows that isn't true. Only 11% say they like playing video games, while 28% go for a run or go to the gym at least once a month. It seems that people still like going to the cinema when they want to watch a film. Forty-six percent say they go to the cinema more than once a month, but only forty percent rent a video or DVD. There are two activities which everybody, or nearly everybody, says they do. Everyone who took part in the survey says they read a newspaper or magazine. And ninety-three percent say they go for a walk, though they don't say if it's a long walk. Going to a restaurant was one of the most popular leisure activities, according to the results of the survey. Sixty-four percent of people say they regularly eat out. It seems that many more people like listening to music than playing it. Seventy-one percent say they regularly listen to the radio, but only eight percent say they can play a musical instrument. Many people think that young people nowadays don't get enough exercise, but the survey shows that isn't true. Only eleven percent say they like playing video games, while twenty-eight percent go for a run. Or go to the gym at least once a month. It seems that people still like going to the cinema when they want to watch a film. Forty-six percent say they go to the cinema more than once a month, but only forty percent rent a video or DVD. There are two activities which everybody, or nearly everybody, says they do. Everyone who took part in the survey says they read a newspaper or magazine, and 93% say they go for a walk, though they don't say if it's a long walk. Going to a restaurant was one of the most popular leisure activities, according to the results of the survey. 64% of people say they regularly eat out. It seems that many more people like listening to music than playing it. Seventy-one percent say they regularly listen to the radio, but only eight percent say they can play a musical instrument. Four seasons. I'm not sure how many people ever stop to think. How wonderful four seasons are! I think people who live in cities don't care about the seasons. City people spend half their lives indoors or underground. I live in the country and I love watching the seasons come and go. Every day is different in the countryside. I love watching the crops grow in the fields. I watch them push their way up from the ground in the spring and then grow tall in the summer sun. Just before autumn arrives, the farmer harvests them, and then winter comes. Seasons means it's like living in a new place every four months. Everything changes. One wonderful thing about seasons is the seasonal food you get. There's always something tasty that's just come in season. Four seasons. I'm not sure how many people ever stop to think how wonderful four seasons are. I think people who live in cities don't care about the seasons. City people spend half their lives indoors or underground. I live in the country and I love watching the seasons come and go. Every day is different in the countryside. I love watching the crops grow in the fields. I watch them push their way up from the ground in the spring and then grow tall in the summer sun. Just before autumn arrives, the farmer harvests them, and then winter comes. Seasons means it's like living in a new place every four months. Everything changes. One wonderful thing about seasons is the seasonal food you get. 
There's always something tasty that's just come in season. The King is the main ethnic group in the country, accounting for 86.2% of Vietnam's population. King people are located along the whole of Vietnam and some other countries. However, the majority is in the deltas and urban areas through the country. Its main language belongs to Viet Muong language group. Traditionally, King people through thousands of generations live together in harmony in the village. There are rules in the villages and communes that everyone must strictly follow. Rules among the villages are not always similar. Villages of the ancient Vietnamese people are usually surrounded by bamboo groves, in which the communal house is a place for meetings and conducting common ritual ceremonies. Ancient King people enjoy the habits of chewing betel, smoking water pipes and cigarettes, drinking tea and eating ordinary rice. The King is the main ethnic group in the country, accounting for 86.2% of Vietnam's population. King people are located along the whole of Vietnam and some other countries. However, the majority is in the deltas and urban areas through the country. Its main language belongs to Viet Muong language group. Traditionally, King people through thousands of generations live together in harmony in the village. There are rules in the villages and communes that everyone must strictly follow. Rules among the villages are not always similar. Villages of the ancient Vietnamese people are usually surrounded by bamboo groves, in which the communal house is a place for meetings and conducting common ritual ceremonies. Ancient King people enjoy the habits of chewing betel, smoking water pipes and cigarettes, drinking tea and eating ordinary rice. Amy, so how are you doing? Oh, hi, Stuart. School is so crazy these days, and when I'm not at school, I'm at work. Hey, listen, I'm getting together with Sarah and Paul tonight, and a few of our other friends are going to join us. Oh. And we're, well, we're going out to eat and then catch a movie. Why don't you come with us? Hey, I'd love to, but I have to cram for a test tomorrow. Oh, come on. We're planning on having dinner around 6.30 and then seeing a movie at 7.30. We should be home by 10.30, 11.30 at the latest. I mean, you're always saying that you don't have any friends and that your love life, well, that you don't have one. <laughs> come on. I, I don't think I'd better. I haven't been feeling well lately. Yeah, because you study too much. Well, we'll have a blast. Come on, relax. Well, and it's Sarah's birthday, too. And we're throwing her a small birthday party after the movie. Come on, best friends always stick together. Oh, okay. Great, I'll pick you up at 6. Okay, see you then, but I have to be back by 10.30. Ah, 10.30, midnight. It's all the same. See you at 6. Amy, so how are you doing? Oh, hi, Stuart. School is so crazy these days, and when I'm not at school, I'm at work. Hey, listen, I'm getting together with Sarah and Paul tonight, and a few of our other friends are going to join us. Oh. And we're, well, we're going out to eat and then catch a movie. Why don't you come with us? Hey, I'd love to, but I have to cram for a test tomorrow. Oh, come on. We're planning on having dinner around 6.30 and then seeing a movie at 7.30. We should be home by 10.30, 11.30 at the latest. I mean, you're always saying that you don't have any friends and that your love life, well, that you don't have one. <laughs> come on. I, I don't think I'd better. I haven't been feeling well lately. Yeah, because you study too much. Well, we'll have a blast. Come on, relax. Well, and it's Sarah's birthday, too. And we're throwing her a small birthday party after the movie. Come on, best friends always stick together. Oh, okay. Great, I'll pick you up at 6. Okay, see you then, but I have to be back by 10.30. Ah, uh, 10.30, midnight. It's all the same. See you at 6.
Are you going to the welcome fair today? What welcome fair? You know, there's a big event in the university sports hall. All the clubs and societies have stands there. You can see what clubs there are and sign up for them. Oh, I know what you mean. Is that today? Yeah, it should be good. I want to sign up for so many things. I'm not really that sporty. It's not just sports clubs. There are loads of clubs like the, like the International Society. My friend Lisa is the president of that. And the Literature Society, and loads more. Every department has its own society. I heard. Oh, okay.、Uh, so, what are you going to sign up for then? Well, I'm definitely going to join the sailing club. I've always wanted to try that. And then there's the archery club too. I'd love to have a go at that as well. That sounds pretty good. I've never tried either of those. I'll probably join the volleyball club because I was the captain of the team at school. I don't know whether to join the orchestra and the choir or not. I was in the orchestra and the choir at school, but I think I might want to change now. I might join the drama society instead, and I'll join the French society, of course. It'll be good for my course, and I hope I'll meet some French people to practice my speaking. What about you? I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Well, what do you do in your spare time? I play board games a lot. If there's a chess club, I might join that. Are you going to the welcome fair today? What welcome fair? You know, there's a big event in the university sports hall. All the clubs and societies have stands there. You can see what clubs there are and sign up for them. Oh, I know what you mean. Is that today? Yeah, it should be good. I want to sign up for so many things. I'm not really that sporty. It's not just sports clubs. There are loads of clubs like the, like the International Society. My friend Lisa is the president of that. And the Literature Society and loads more. Every department has its own society. I heard. Oh, okay.、Uh, so, what are you going to sign up for then? Well, I'm definitely going to join the sailing club. I've always wanted to try that. And then there's the archery club too. I'd love to have a go at that as well. That sounds pretty good. I've never tried either of those. I'll probably join the volleyball club because I was the captain of the team at school. I don't know whether to join the orchestra and the choir or not. I was in the orchestra and the choir at school, but I think I might want to change now. I might join the drama society instead, and I'll join the French society, of course. It'll be good for my course, and I hope I'll meet some French people to practice my speaking. What about you? I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Well, what do you do in your spare time? I play board games a lot. If there's a chess club, I might join that.